Hey guys, welcome back to Passive Money. My name is Alex. That's Curvy. Today we're going to be reacting to a Dave Ramsey video. So go ahead and check this video out. Rich people ask how much. Broke people ask how much down and how much a month. All right, Curvy, what do you think about what Dave has to say? Me. I'm just going to be honest. I know it's a lot of uh, fodder and a lot of stuff on social media from the get rich quick scheme people or hey they got a new philosophy they want to talk down to you. but one thing for sure two things for certain none of those people that talk bad about they have more money than they let's just get that understood let's just get that understood first i started off learning off of dave ramsey pr principles so I will never talk bad about Dave Ramsey and the principles that he said, because the majority of the people need those principles. They don't have the knowledge, the intellect, the motivation to learn how to uh, gain financial literacy. They don't want to sit there and read books, study and stuff like that to gain financial literacy. For 99.9% .9 of the people, they need exactly what Dave Ramsey teach. But what he's saying about rich people ask how much and poor people ask the monthly payment is absolutely true. But understand, he's saying that because rich people gain the financial literacy. They don't need people to sit there and break down the financial gymnastics to them. They don't need to know, oh, a monthly payment to see if it fits within my budget and things like that. The rich people know, hey, it's fifty, seventy, eighty thousand dollars. Not saying that they're gonna pay it all in cash every time, because that's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is they know eighty thousand dollars, you know, you know, sixty months or whatever, it comes out to this much. They want to know the net price because they want to negotiate from a net price basis. Because when you start negotiating from a monthly payment basis, it's a lot of financial engineering that uh bankers, real estate agents, whoever you use, car dealerships and things like that. Hell, even furniture places can manipulate the monthly payments to make it fit your budget. But the thing is, is while they're trying to make it fit your budget, it's costing you more money if you're acting on a monthly, basis, a monthly payment basis. What you should want to know is the total price. The total price is, hey, can I afford this? I don't know what I'm saying. It's, hey, can I afford this? paying 100% cash, but hey, can I afford this as, I mean, perfectly cash, if it's especially a depreciating asset like a car or furniture or sofa or something like that. But it's really about, it's just a financial manipulation that the poor constantly put themselves in. They constantly want to know the monthly payment. And the people that they're asking, what is the monthly payments, are constantly screwing them over, over and over and over again. That's why the people with money understand the deal and know where they're getting at. they negotiating on a total amount instead of a monthly payment amount. Because I've seen people that uh, four, four years on a car payment, they're paying $300 or $400 a month. And I'm probably dating myself there. $400 a month. But they're like, oh, I can't afford $400 a month. I need $300 a month. So instead of bringing the total price down of the car, they just extend the length of the payments. So instead of four years, they send out to five, six, seven years. So in total, they're paying more for a car than it's actually worth. And people don't understand that because they haven't engaged in the financial literacy aspect. And I think that is really what separates the rich from the poor understanding how money works i see your points i agree um the same thing goes for you know when families are buying a house the banks will talk about you know the monthly payment on refinancing a house they won't they won't mention what you're actually paying i mean of course if you ask and all that like they'll break it down with you but the the first initial thing that they're going to tell you is what your monthly payment is regardless of the ex the escrow amount the interest that you're paying and all that and especially when you refinance if you don't catch it they, they, they're not even touching on the the debt they're putting back into the loan from all the closing costs that they're going to throw on top of it like they'll just i mean they'll mention it but they'll 
leave it out of the conversation and just say, oh, but your monthly payment is going to drop to this. Like, um, I and you're absolutely right. There's a lot of engineering that goes into uh, when you negotiate or talk about monthly payment terms. Right. And and that's one of the things that people need to understand. And hopefully this video helped more people understand that and appreciate that it is a method to the madness. It is a way to look at things and negotiate. It's nothing wrong with pulling out a calculator yourself. Don't depend on what they put in the calculator. Pull out a calculator yourself and see what is this costing me. And it shouldn't be, hey, I make $2,000 a month. My rent is this much. My light payment is this much. Oh, I got a $400 to spare. Can I afford a car? It shouldn't be that. It should be, hey, I want a car. Even if you make payments, it should be, hey, I want a car. Uh, this car costs forty $40,000. $40, uh, I want to pay it over four years. And that's it. If you negotiate on a monthly basis, a monthly basis terms, it's screwing you over because the dealership, I'm just going to use cars in this sense, the dealership is going to financially engineer it so you can pay for whatever monthly payment you want to pay, but do the math to know that, hey, 72 months at $300 is more than 60 months or 50 months or, you know, 42 months or 48 months at, you know, $500. It's way more money over the term, especially with the interest and things like that. So those are the things that people need to understand how that, you know, that arithmetic goes when they're going in to negotiate things. And that's how they get a better deal based, doing deals based off the, the actual sticker price than the monthly payment price. Yeah, absolutely. Well, guys, with all that being said, if you like this video, hit the like button, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Let us know what you think. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and share, and we'll see you guys in the next video.